school shootings are becoming more prominent, violence makes the headlines often, and the more our world advances in technology and weaponry, the more we are faced with difficult questions. Will this be a safe place for our children to live in? Are we taking enough measures to be proactive? And how can empathy be taught and prioritized? Although killing seems like a cold-blooded act to commit, according to Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman, humans are actually not naturally born to pull the trigger. Unfortunately, film and media still have a long way to go when portraying the act of killing in an accurate manner. War films, for instance, often misrepresent this action. Although soldiers in training may fear dying in war, they also fear having to kill people. This is why veterans often suffer from PTSD as a result. The severity of the trauma will depend on factors, like how close the person was to the victim and what weapon they used to kill them. Depending on the proximity to the victim and the type of weapon used, the trauma can be either. The further away the victim is, the easier it is for the soldier to detach himself from the action he commits. Grossman also points out that the distance helps the soldier dehumanize the victim when they can't see their face clearly. Therefore, they can replace this information with a negative picture they create in their head of the enemy. Advanced weapons nowadays make it easier for killing to occur with distance, which only makes it easier to promote unhealthy war culture. As humans, we have a responsibility to care for and understand one another. Unless people are diagnosed as psychopaths, it is impossible for them to be unaffected from the act of killing. So why is it that some people can impulsively commit a crime as frightening as murdering someone? It all comes down to self-control. As humans, we feel a wide array of emotions, including anger. Gunmen are often depicted as angry people all the time, but this is far from the truth. Our brains make it easy for us to be influenced. For instance, listening to speeches on pro-violence can make us more inclined to be more violent. But when directed towards propaganda that promotes empathy, we can experience the opposite and mirror this humanizing action instead. Unfortunately, it's hard to catch when someone may strike at any time once they've lost it. That's because a gunman typically takes action quickly, making it hard for people close by to process what's happening. Often, the violent crime itself is a desperate act of communicating their anger and frustration. So if one wants to catch them in time before anything fatal happens, it's important to reach out and check in on them. Never underestimate the power of a calm moment, no matter how brief. It might just be enough to save someone's sanity. Speaking of calm, have you been experiencing headaches from stress or insomnia? Or do you enjoy sound therapy? Check out and subscribe to Ting Ting ASMR's channel. It would mean a lot not only to her, but to us. Also, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.